you guys all talk about the effects you have to deal with. And, you know, you talk about the impact of that day. But you guys won. You guys held. You know, democracies are not defined by our bad days. We're defined by how we come back from bad, day, bad days, how we take accountability for that. Quick news alert here. We wanted to let you know that we have just received a tip that Adam Kinzinger is still crying. He was spotted again this afternoon, seated on a bench on 17th Street in downtown Washington, overlooking DuPont Circle. Why was he crying? We can only speculate here. Perhaps it was just the profound ennui of life. Perhaps he is what P.G. Woodhouse often described as a sensitive plant. He feels too much. It's too much for him. He can't stand the injustice of the world, the meanness, the cruelty, the insensitivity of his fellow man. We don't know. Maybe he looked into the yawning abyss of his soul and burst into tears. If you know, contact us. We'd like to report it. All we know is he's crying again. The members of Congress are technically speaking sent to Washington to vote and not to weep. And so we thought it was worth following up. Tonight we have an update on that. Congressman Kinzinger has been spotted crying again, according to our sources, in a place where you rarely see tears in Waffle House. You're seeing the Waffle House location on your screen. If you look closer, you will see Adam Kinzinger clearly distraught, crying inside a restaurant that serves waffles. According to our sources, it's unclear exactly why he was crying. A shortage of boysenberry syrup, said one. Lynx, patties were not available, said another. We can't tell you more. But if we see Adam Kinzinger crying again, you will see it here first.